All right, you guys, Mr. Medin here, Mr. M. And uh, I was asked to do a, a little quick uh, presentation on transformer law, also known as Faraday's law. It's still relevant to the area T and it's still you know, relevant to what we have to understand as a tech. Are we ever gonna have to do this in the field? No, but guess what? We have to know it for right now. And so that's what I'm here to, to try to help you out with. Transformer law. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I think about transformers, it's not what we're thinking here, right? So more than meets the eye, I don't know if we can do anything copyright, stuff like that, but I think about that. So that's the first thing that goes into my head, and I gotta bring myself back to transformers when it comes to the circuit. So you know that there's a step-up transformer and a step-down transformer and an auto-transformer, correct? Well, transformers law pertains to, transformer law pertains to the step-up and step-down transformer. So we have here, I'm gonna write down the formula, Vs over Vp equals Ns over Np. That's the first version. So I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna put here Vp, it's volts on the primary. Okay, so these are primary volts. And then I'm put here Vs, that's secondary volts. We have to understand what these represent first. And a lot of times we just have to know exactly what these things are and how to plug in the numbers. That's what I've learned. And then we have NP. That's the number of turns, number of turns or windings, windings or coil, either one, number of turns on the primary side. And then we're gonna have NS, and that's the number of turns on the secondary side of the circuit. All right, so the number of turns on the secondary side of the circuit. So if, okay, there is, we're gonna change it to 200 volts on the primary side of the coil. And how many turns do they have here? Okay, and primary side of the coil has 100 turns. I'll use that still. And 100 turns of the coil on the primary side. So I'm just changing the numbers. We're just kind of making it up right now, so I'm hoping that it works out okay. All right, so on the primary side, and how many volts do they have here on this side? Oh, and 20,000 turns, okay. So, and we'll say 40,000 turns. How about that? 40,000 turns on the secondary side. What would the voltage be on the secondary side? Okay, so if there is 200 volts on the primary side of the coil and 100 turns of the coil on the primary side, and 40,000 turns of the wire on the secondary side, what would the voltage be on the secondary side? So this can be a little intimidating, but I'm gonna tell you some things that might help you out. So what do we see? What do we see that's happening with the number of turns of the coil? So do you see here 100 turns and it's going up to 40,000? So on a previous little tutorial that we did, we did the circuit. And we said, when you have an increase of number of turns on the secondary side, what type of transformer is that gonna be? It's gonna be a step up. So you're going from 100 turns to 40,000 turns. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this here really quick, just so I have some room to write it out. So what we say is, if you go up in turns, on the secondary side, 
What kind of transformer do we have? You're gonna have a step-up transformer, correct? So a step-up transformer is gonna do what to the voltage? It's gonna increase the voltage, correct? And it's gonna decrease the current. But right now we're not asking for the current, we're looking for the voltage, correct? So a little helpful hint here, I don't think this is cheating, but still it's a little way to understand because they're testing you on the theory. So what if you're looking at a multiple choice question and you only see one answer that has an increase of voltage? Well, you may not have to do the math because guess what? The answer is gonna be an increase of voltage, correct? So if you have a decrease, decrease, and there's only one that has an increase, well then pick that answer, right? If you understand the concept, but what if they don't have that? Well, then we're gonna figure out the math together, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose red and I'm gonna go ahead and identify these items related to my formula here. So you have 200 volts on the primary side, that's gonna be VP. So I'm gonna identify these numbers and then we're gonna plug them in, okay? So 100 turns on the coil on the primary side, that's number of turns on the primary side, this is NP. All right, number of turns on the primary side, that's 100. Number of turns on the secondary side is 40,000, so that's NS. You guys see that? So now that I've identified these things, now I'm just gonna plug them into the formula, okay? So, <coughs> VP is 200. We don't know what VS is, that's what we're trying to figure out, so we're gonna put X. We don't know what this is the, volts, the volts on the secondary side are, correct? So now, we need to put the number of turns on the secondary side here. That's going to be 40,000. Okay. Now, number of turns on the primary is 100. Okay. So I know there's shortcuts, but I'm going to do things the long way. Okay. So just bear with me. Some of you, you guys that are really great at math, I know that we can reduce this and multiply across, but we're not going to do that. We're going to cross multiply right now. So 40,000 times 200. All right, so four times two is eight. And then we can just add one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Do I get them all? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we put a comma here and then a comma here, right? Oh, wow, so look at that. That's eight million we're at right now, right? It looks big, but don't freak out. And then we got 100X, okay? So now we got to get rid of X, right? So we'll divide here by 100, and then over here, we're gonna divide by 100. So if you take 8 million divided by 800, by 100, I should say, I'm gonna do it on my calculator here on my phone. So we got 8 million, 8 million divided by 100. I know what it's gonna be, but I wanna show you here, it's gonna be 80,000. So we got 80,000, okay? So you have 80,000 volts. On the secondary side. But what if they don't have 80,000 volts? What if they have it in KV? Okay, so we're like, oh, right? So remember, KV, kilo, represents a thousand. So imagine you telling the patient, oh, we're gonna do 80,000 volts, you know, on this exam today. You might freak them out, right? But if you tell them, hey, we're doing 80 KV, you're like, oh, okay, that sounds good, right? So it's funny, right? So we're not gonna use the term 80,000 volts, but guess what? You might see it as. 80 kV because 80 kV is equivalent to 80,000 volts. So this is just one part of the formula here. All right, so I'm gonna give you two other, other methods of using the formula. If you wanna to try to figure out the current or you wanna to try to figure out the number of the turns of the coil and the current, all right? So, but this is the most common one. And again, this is still relevant to, the, to our exams during the course, but also relevant to the ART from what we hear as well. And again, we never ask you know, students what's on the test, but still, you know, we wanna make sure that we're up to date with the, the type of material that we're covering to be prepared. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give you two other versions of the formula that we can have. All right, I'll switch back to black. So we're gonna have IS over IP equals, and we're gonna have here VP over VS. So do you remember that we said that a step-up transformer is gonna decrease the current, correct? And that's why these, these terms are inverted. 
because there's an inverse relationship that occurs with the step up and step down transformer. As you increase the KVP, right, the voltage, your current goes down. That's why they're flipped here. So Faraday's law or transformer law can be used to solve for the current. So I represents current. So you have IP, you have IS, we have, oops, I'm starting to write the terms. We got VP and we got VS. So IP, right, the intensity of the charge, right? So is current. So I represents the current. So on the primary side, IS is the current on the secondary side. VP again is the volts on the primary side, and VS is the volts on the secondary side. This is another form of transformer law that can be used to solve the current and the number of windings. So again, if you go up in the number of windings, the voltage is gonna go up, but the current is gonna go down. Okay, so I'm gonna write that on the board again. I'm not gonna do a whole example using these, but we can use these to be applied to figure out, you know, what the current is and the number of turns of the voltage, right? So I'm gonna write this on the board again. So a step-up transformer, step-up transformer, also known as a high-tension transformer, right, or a high voltage, you're gonna have an increase of voltage and a decrease of current, okay? A step-down transformer, okay, also known as a, a, a low filament transformer, is going to go ahead and decrease the voltage and increase the current. You know, I, I was talking to the class the other day, and in fact, your, your little boxes on your, your chargers for your cell phones, those are step-down transformers. Okay, so again, there's a, there's a larger filament and a smaller one. Right, and through mutual induction, it reduces the voltage so it doesn't fry the heck out of our devices, right? But again, there's transformers all around us, right? So again, step-down transformers are gonna decrease the voltage and increase the current. So if you have, let's say, a number of windings on the primary side, and then you have a decrease of windings, the number of turns on the secondary side is decreasing, well, then you have to look for a lower voltage and an increase of current, all right? If you have volts increasing, you're gonna have a decrease of current. Does that make sense? So again, understanding this concept right here is gonna help you. I'm hoping that it'll hopefully help you understand transformer law, okay? Thank you guys. Hello everyone, you guys. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm hoping that they're helping you out. Please make sure that you subscribe and then you hit the notification bell to be notified about new videos. Again, remember to be good to yourself and be good to others. Thank you.